Hello guys, these lessons are part of my software called the Flash Brain Anatomy. I posted a link down there in the description, you can purchase it. FlashBrainAnatomy.com Now I will illustrate the cranial nerves and I will tell the function of each one and I will label every cranial nerve. First we have the medulla oblongata and com there comes the pons and we have the cerebellum then this structure is called the cross cerebral cross and the rest of the brain mass is here with the temporal lobes and the frontal lobes okay and here are the cranial nerves after I photoshopped this a little bit, this is how it looks like. Okay, here we only have the hypoglossal nerve between the olivary bodies and the pyramids. Okay, the first cranial nerve is the olfactory nerve. Okay, that's the first cranial nerve. It is important for the smell sense. Then the second cranial nerve is the optic nerve. This part over here is called the optic chiasm. It is placed where the nerves from the left and the right side exchange fibers. From here, it's not a, not the uh, optic optic nerve, but the optic tract. An optic tract goes to to the eye and innervates the eye. To learn more about that I created a video for that comes with my software called the optic pathway and it explains pretty much how the image is received and how the signal is transported to which part of the cortex and which part of the cortex is important for what. I also explained how the reflexes function and so on. You should purchase my software. I put a link down there in the description, flashbrainanatomy.com. Okay, then we have the cranial nerve number three, which is the oculomotor nerve. It innervates the superior oblique muscle of the eye. And then we have the cranial nerve number four. And number four innervates the sphincter muscle of pupil and also innervates the ciliar muscle in the eye. Then the fifth cranial nerve is the trigeminal nerve and it is important for innervating the muscles of mastication and it also receives the sensation from face. Then here is the number six cranial nerve and it's called the abducens is number six and the abducens innervates the lateral rectus muscle on the eyeball then the cranial nerve number seven is this nerve over here and it innervates posterior belly of digestric muscle and it also innervates the stapedius muscle this, is, this was the number seven nerve and it's called the facial nerve the number eight, the cranial nerve number eight, is the vestibulocochlear nerve. And the vestibulocochlear nerve transports the signal about the sound, rotation, and gravity. To learn more about these functions and the way, the way it works, please check out my website and purchase my software, flashbrainanatomy.com. And the nerve number nine is the glossopharyngeal nerve. And the glossopharyngeal nerve receives the taste signals from posterior part of the tongue. And it also innervates the parotid gland and stylopharyngeus. The cranial nerve number 10 is the vagus. It receives special sense of taste and so on. It also provides the parasympathetic fibers to almost all thoracic and ab abdominal viscera. Then comes the accessory nerve, and it's the nerve number 11. 
and it controls the sternocleidomastoid and trapezius muscle. It overlaps with the functions of the vagus nerve. The last nerve is the hypoglossal nerve and it's right here between the olivary bodies and the pyramids and it's nerve number 12. And it is mainly motor. It provides the innervation for the tongue muscles except of palatoglossus which is innervated by vagus. This this lesson comes as part of my software that you can purchase on flashbrainanatomy.com. My software includes uh, much more than just this lesson. It includes interactive 3D anatomy and a complete set of animated lessons from Narrow Anatomy. You can master the Narrow Anatomy in just two weeks with my software. I put the links down there in the description. If you're not going to purchase it on flashbrainanatomy.com, at least make sure you subscribe, like, or comment.